Their career spanned more than half a century. They've been at ground zero for a cultural revolution. And even today, still one of the highest grossing bands on the planet. Playing sold out shows to their loyal and sometimes chemically enhanced fan base. The Deadheads. We're just like living in shells ourselves, you know? These are what we're in now, but we're here to learn lessons and go on further. Acid doesn't harm the human body. It makes you feel all the emotions you're supposed to feel in life in general. But does the Grateful Dead's connection to LSD have a more sinister relationship? After its discovery in 1938, the U.S. military sees value in the drug. Not many people realize the U.S. military used LSD for mind control. Is it possible that the Grateful Dead were part of a covert government operation? In the mid-1950s, the United States is entrenched in the Cold War. The communist mission is to drive ahead toward the complete destruction of the old system in order to have a free hand of the new. The American intelligence networks were going to use any weapons to stop the Soviet Union, which they saw as bent on world conquest. One of these new tools goes beyond war machines or bombs, infiltrating the enemy mines. To utilize this power, a secret CIA operation dubbed MK Ultra is created in 1953. MK Ultra is a unit for the use of biological and chemical materials to affect human behavior. In other words, mind control. One of the drugs is principally LSD. It's used to experiment on people as somewhat of a truth serum and see how far it could make people go, what they could do to control them. I uh, feel these lovely colors vibrating all over me. That was lovely. Some good things might have come out of it, but it was used for a very sinister idea to be used as a weapon. And I can feel the air. I can, I can see it. I can see all the molecules. For 20 years, MK Ultra secretly tests their new weapon on a variety of subjects. They gave it to prisoners, the mentally ill. In other words, people that couldn't really fight back. The CIA was doing tests on army bed people. It was horrible what they did. We have seen some of the effects of LSD. What effect would it have on the final operation? Further research is required to give us that answer. If you trick somebody into taking them, it can ruin your life. This was part of a time also in the 1950s where there was almost no oversight of the CIA. They conducted these experiments. Uh, people died. Uh, one committed suicide. But some participants of the CIA experiments are volunteers, college students unaware of who was actually behind the plan and what the true purpose is. There was tons of people involved in this. You had the poet Allen Ginsberg. And unwittingly, to prisoners too. And the craziest one was Whitey Bulger, the mobster, who the CIA gave LSD to every day for a year. While other volunteers would directly shape the Grateful Dead. Robert Hunter, the famed lyricist for the Grateful Dead, got his first LSD through the MK Ultra program. You know, Robert Hunter, one of the Dead's like premier songwriters, he took it, he loved it. And then he started writing songs like Dark Star. The most famous recipient is Ken Kesey the author who writes One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And he wrote a good chunk of that novel on LSD, in fact. Kesey applies what he learns to a new cause, his own LSD experiments. And after a cross-country LSD trek with his band of merry pranksters, he settles in the San Francisco area to launch the acid tests. The acid test is everywhere in this spaceship. Everywhere you are, you're all acid testing and acid tasting. Inside the confines of this inner spatial dome, you will find the acid test taking place. They were 
experimenting with mind expanding drugs. You know, taking LSD was not like having a drink. <laughs> you had a bunch of people take acid, and the Grateful Dead just happened to be the soundtrack at all those parties. The thing was, it was all happening in the San Francisco area. So the guys in the Grateful Dead were around, and then they became the house band, starting as the Warlocks and then changing their name to the Grateful Dead. So if Kesey and the Grateful Dead lyricist Robert Hunter were part of MK Ultra, are these new acid tests a continuation of a secret government program? This time not to fight communism, but to stop the growing anti-war movement at home? The government was so worried about the influence that music had on the youth of America. They wanted to get them LSD, LSD, get them LSD, so they would trip and become like zombies, depoliticize, and lose their minds. They'd be like, hey, take this, you like the dead? I got a concert you can see. Next, we'll answer the question, does the CIA extend Cold War mind control experiments to the anti-war movement and target fans of the Grateful Dead? The FBI and CIA were super interested in what the counterculture was doing. Later, a look into the wild.